Hi, we're going to wrap up our month of mindfulness of the senses. And so we talked about taking a perspective, um, seeing behind or beneath some of these labels. And then we talked about mindful listening and mindful eating. And so all these are just to slow down and notice what's going on and what's driving my either um, prejudice or my eating or my distraction or just dropping in. That's all mindfulness is. And so some of the practices that we've had are taking a deep breath and just giving yourself a pause before you react out of an habitual habit. We've talked about um, just noticing your emotions and being with that. And then a new practice or tool this week is to start labeling something pleasant or unpleasant. But first, I'm going to read a list of things and just notice how you feel or what your thoughts or where your mind goes, where your body goes. So just kind of close your eyes or just look down at the floor and listen to the, this as I read these. And then I'll read it again with some different instructions. You just failed a test in a class that you need to graduate. Someone wakes you up early on the weekend. Someone criticizes you in front of a bunch of friends. Someone gives you a gift that you weren't even expecting. You get caught in a lie. Someone makes you laugh so hard you think you're going to pee. You missed an easy pass, which allowed the other team to score. You get new shoes, the new shoes that you really wanted. A friend is really mad about something you did, and you know you did it. You're starving after you get home from school and there is nothing to eat. You get awesome praise for excellent work in your favorite class. Someone stole your phone. Okay, for that list, just notice like how different things, emotions or thoughts came up. Like you just got excited, you got something new you wanted, or you got praise. And then the, like that sinking feeling of you lost your phone or you got caught in a lie or somebody's mad at you. And so next time through, I'm going to read the same list. But the invitation is to use a mindfulness practice, which is just saying something is pleasant or unpleasant. And that's all you're going to do. And so instead of getting caught in the thought and like, oh my God, my mom's going to kill me or this is going to happen or, you know, all the things that our mind starts to spin out on and then all those emotions and that panic or worry or, or anything that comes up that can make a situation feel more dire than it is or can cloud your thoughts on what should I be doing next. So this practice is simply... When you hear one of these, just label it either pleasant or unpleasant, okay? And just then at the end, we'll notice, like, was this different when I did this? So the first one, and only label it pleasant or unpleasant. You just failed a test in a class that you need to graduate. Someone wakes you up early on the weekend. Someone criticizes you in front of all your friends. You get a gift you weren't even expecting. You get caught in the lie. Someone makes you laugh so hard you feel like you're going to pee. You missed an easy pass which allowed the other team to score. You get new shoes, and then the new shoes you really, really wanted. A friend is really mad about something you did, and you know you did it. 
You're starving after school. You get home and there is nothing to eat. Someone stole your phone. It did not a good note. And someone found your phone. And just to notice, was it different? And did, would the, did there allow some more space in my head if I could just say unpleasant or pleasant? And did that kind of diminish some of the drama that tends to come up around certain situations? And now quickly our head can go from one thing to another. I failed a test. I'm never going to get into college. My mom's going to kill me. You know, and how quickly a cascade of thoughts can come. But if you just say unpleasant. And then the next thought may be, I just need to go talk to my teacher about what I can do. But often our wise thoughts get overshadowed or taken over by this cascade of panicky thoughts or overwhelming thoughts or just clever thoughts. So I just invite you for the next week is to notice when something comes up that kind of has you gripped. Can you just start to say pleasant or unpleasant? Give it a try. Thanks.